Hi everyone, John here again with Big Guy Review. Um, I'm just going to summarize uh, my uh, overall thoughts of the uh, G1W dash cam. Um, I'd like to say for the uh, for the optics and the quality of the video, it's uh, excellent. Um, the little uh, little problems I have is the fact that uh, the batteries uh, you might get a couple months out of them, and then they'll just start to die out. And so, as soon as I go to remove the power here, you see it doesn't have any more ability to hold power even if I turn the unit on you'll notice that uh, it'll come on shortly after you know it says right here there's a full battery but now it's dead see that so and then it'll come up that uh, it's low battery and it'll just shut off there we go see so the life of the batteries are not long but I mean, let's face it, we all got these sitting in our, in our, in our windows and they're just there to uh, work while we have the vehicle running. So I don't think that's, a, for me, that's not really a big issue. I really don't care because I don't operate the unit like I'm doing it right now. Um, uh, there, was, uh, there was talk about the, uh, the mounting lens being a little flimsy in that. And I have to say that it is loose, but um, I don't find that it affects the video at all. So that's okay. Um, I have had some issues where I've, um, when it's been sleep, well, recording, but in the vehicle, and uh, I'll push like this button here to um, turn that off, to uh, bring the uh, the uh, screen out of sleep mode, and I'd noticed that the uh, red flashing light for the record mode here uh, was on steady, and then the unit froze up. What I found is that perhaps what's happening with me is that, because I leave mine plugged in all the time, uh, what, I, what I would do is just disconnect the uh, power adapter from the cigarette lighter, let the red light glow out, and let the unit just die completely out of charge, and then uh, plug it back in, and it would work, and then I would immediately uh, reformat my card, and uh, that would uh, take care of any issues. Now what I do is every few days I'll just reformat my card. I'm using a... Um, a 32 gig uh, class 10 which could be my issue uh, if you guys are getting uh, different results from a uh, class 6 I'd definitely like to hear that in the comments if you would please um, the other thing is uh, um, there also there's uh, some little things we can go through here I know there's a couple people would like to know how to view uh, the recorded videos which you can do it has a little speaker in here I mean, it's not the best but you know, I guess if you want to show one of your friends sitting in the car with you a video that you recorded, uh, you can go through and do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you very uh, slowly how to go through to get to your videos. You're going to go down here and there's a mode button. Okay, this is actually, it says uh, mode on it. I know there's a mode button up here, but that's not the one you want to push. You're going to push this one right here. All right. Now, it cannot be in the record mode. You notice that the red light is not flashing for record. So we'll push this once. And now we're in the camera mode. You notice here the little icon has changed to like, I guess, a camera. All right. And then uh, it's also at a five megapixel. All right. And you push it again. And now you're in the recorded videos. Okay. So you got a little, like, a little saved storage file folder thing here. All right. So now to get into different videos, um, you always start from the way back. So from the, the, the last video that's been recorded, and then you go f um, deeper into the file until you end up at the other end. So we're just going to push down. This is a nighttime video. This one at a convenience store. See if we can get through some of this. Get, the, get a nice uh, daytime video. You can actually see the getting more daylight out there. So we got one when um, some uh, cars in that around. Ugh. Then you can go back. Alright, so let's say we select, we want to view this one. So we push the select button, that would be the um, top right. Push that. And if you want to get to a certain point, you can fast forward through it just by pressing the up button. One time is, oops, sorry, that's backwards. So you can go backwards too. So you press the down button to go forward. It's two times, four times eight times and that's it and you just press the top button 
and go back down to regular speed. Okay, so when you're finished watching this, you can pause it, then use the mode button here to stop it. That brings it back to the beginning of the, uh, the section you just looked at. And then you press the down button. I bring you to the next section and then you select that and I go on to another one that to stop it and then back here and you end up doing that all the way through until play that one hitting <laughs> that bump um, hitting that bump actually in that video just reminded me um, the G sensor um, to be honest with you I am uh, I'm not too oh just keep pushing the mode button until you get back to where your camera icon is there I think you guys can, can make that a little camera icon there and then you'll be back in the camera the digital cam you can just push record and now you notice your red lights flashing so, um, the G sensor, I have mine set, because even on, on low setting down here, uh, I still found I was, I was, the, the, the sensor was uh, setting off and it was uh, storing or locking files down. I, you know, I could go over train tracks and uh, it was setting it off. So I just decided that uh, setting it to the off position was the best position for me. Um, uh, record audio, we all know a lot of these things. And I think I already went over in the other video about the uh, motion detection um, resolution. That's a personal option. But actually, I, I had it set at uh, 1080 full HD. But I've decided now I'm going to uh, 720 30. And there's been people saying, well, you know, you got this camera. It's got 1080. You're only using partial of the abilities of the camera and all that. And well, you know, um, the optics are good. Uh, a lot better than the camera I had. But I'm running into a little bit of a... Of a a problem where uh, I want more than five hours worth of recording and I'd like not to have to if something happens I don't want to have to say oh well I gotta turn the camera off now and save that recording uh, there is a way you can lock that segment of recording that you have uh, so it doesn't get recorded over uh, I haven't really looked into it because it hasn't been a real issue for me so I like to have it so that it's at 720 you get about nine nine hours out of it and then of course I mean if you really want to do it, you want to get like 15 hours, you can go into the uh, WVGA. I think the optics would probably be all right. Um, if uh, if all you really want this camera for is just to protect you in the event of a, of a collision of some sort, you want to be able to prove of who it was, you can leave it on WVGA. But you might run into the problem where uh, if you want to zoom in uh, to get a plate that was far farther away, uh, the WVGA might not be able to do that, whereas the 720 probably have a better chance of collecting plate data that was farther away from the car as you zoom it in. And of course the 1080 would even do more as you zoom farther in. Um, and then you can go into VGA, you know, so there's there's a lot of choices you have. I'm going to leave mine at 720. That's my personal choice. Um, your loop recording... Um, like I said in the first video, I set mine for 10 minutes because I just don't want to create so many files that uh, I need to go through every two minute file. Uh, WDR, you know what, I really have no idea if this thing works or if it doesn't work. Uh, I tried it with it on, I've tried it with it off, and it really has not made a difference to me. Uh, exposure. That's probably better for your camera. You can set the exposure on the camera on this, but I don't really know anybody using this as a camera. Uh, they're using it as a video camera. So, um, I have it set just at uh, plus one and three, just so, because um, I'm using it mostly at night, and I figure I would, you know, side on the, the chance that I'll get better exposure at night. But you might get more grainy files um, at night. I'll leave that there. Um, the other thing was that I've noticed with... Um, with the camera at night is that you get this halo around the lights um i have two of these and they both do exactly the same thing so i'm imagining that yours probably does if it doesn't let me know i'd like to know 
Um, I also went through and said that there's knockoffs of knockoffs of knockoffs. So I'm sure even, you know, like I said, this camera is probably not an, an original G1W, but a knockoff of the said. So, uh, anyways, um, let's just go through this uh, other part here for the date, time, power off, auto power off. That's supposed to, when the unit has, um, I believe when it has no power, the power is disconnected, that the, the, uh, the recording device is supposed to stay on for that many minutes. Now there's no way you're going to get 10 minutes out of this, I think even with a fresh set of batteries. Three minutes, it, I don't even get that. So my batteries are kaput, so I'm going to change mine to off. Uh, beep sound, we all know what that is. Your languages, uh, just for, for sake of shits and giggles. Uh, your English is your primary one, so if for some reason you have one that's not in English, uh, you can go through this, and uh, like I've done, you, can, you know, you have to go into here, and then go down to, uh, as many as you saw me go down to, until you get the languages, and you'll see English there. And English will be in English, no matter what other language your unit is in. So even if it's in um, Portuguese, Dutch, uh, even uh, Chinese, it'll still be, you'll still see English on there, so because each language is written in the language that it's meant to be. Um, so we set that in English. Uh, TV mode. Um, yeah, that went through, that's right, the NTSC and all that, so that's good. Uh, frequency, that's 50 and 60 hertz. Screen protection. Now this is where your screen will go off after so many minutes. So like sometimes at night I'll just click this to just get a summary of what's happening with the icons and everything, if the camera's working all right. And uh, so I just leave it on for three minutes, and then after three minutes, the uh, if I leave it like this for three minutes, it'll it'll shut off. If you set it to off, it'll stay on all the time. And then of course you're fine, and uh, you're at ten minutes. All right. Infrared light. That's BS. It's just a regular white LED. Formatting your card. I've already done a video on that on how to format your card, so you might want to check that out. Default settings just puts everything back to the way it was. It's almost like doing a reset, and then the version number. So, anyways. Um, that's my little overview. I mean, it's a, it's a great little camera. It's nothing fantastic, uh, but for 50 bucks, it does what it's supposed to do. It's just that you have to keep in mind that, um, I think, you know, uh, after something is repeated so many times as these cameras are in China, that sometimes the re end result of the one that you get might be like 10th generation of, of the original. Uh, and I'm sure that's where, where these, a lot of these cameras are ending up now. Um, they really try and burn the market out for these cameras so that they can, when they, when they know it's hot, they just try and pump them out there. Uh, there'll be a bunch of different manufacturers that'll assemble these and try and sell them to, to wanting customers like yourself and my, yourself and uh, me. Um, so, and then they just end up moving on to the next uh, hot thing. So anyways, I mean, I'm not disappointed with the purchase. Um... It works for me. It works how, how I need it to work. It's just the issue with the uh, with the freezing up every once in a while and the batteries, the G-sensors. But those are things I can overcome. It doesn't really bother me and I can live with it. I hope this video has been helpful and uh, I've answered uh, some questions that you may have had about this camera. Please subscribe. I have more stuff coming down the tube uh, concerning videos. Uh, there's um, I got a headlight installed. I did an update on my van from the uh, regular uh, sealed beams that's out there. If you want to check that out I'm also doing something that might interest a lot of you if you've already got these dash cams and that's um, a GPS unit a GPS tracker unit that you put inside your vehicle and it comes with some uh, some pretty cool uh, options that um, might surprise you the things you can do to protect your own vehicle from being stolen well until next time thanks for watching